Hey everybody, just starting my channel. Um, I'm going to start with just the basics of how I rewired my RX-7. So number one, you need a lot of wire. Surprise, huh? Uh, you can pretty much get it anywhere on Amazon, depending on the size, do some calculations, figure out what's what. Uh, for my build... I bought an entirely new fuse box. Got this from a Mazda 6 because they use the same codes for fuses and all that kind of crap. And, you know, pretty simple. Tons of relays. Way more update than, you know, the typical RX-7 where it's got three different boxes. Um, as you can see, I got stuff everywhere with my rear harness, my dash harness, and my front harness. But other tools you're going to need, multimeter. Anytime you're doing anything electrical, got to have a multimeter. Lots of uh, conduit. Keep your wires safe. Good crimpers. These things were over $100. It's so ridiculous considering the size of it. Uh, they're made for GM weather pack, but they crimp just about everything good enough. Wire strippers, these are, you know, the nice ones that kind of size themselves, but then you can also have the ones that, you know, you pick which size and go from there. These are also good for cutting, more so than these, since the cutting part's there. And this one's cutting part is in there. Electrical tape, going to need a lot of it. Um, even if you don't wrap your harnesses completely, just for making little tiny corrections and things like that. Um, right there. Cable lug crimp connectors. These are the lifeblood of doing any type of wiring harnesses. Otherwise you get a solder and no one wants to solder in a car because solder makes things you know, not really bendable and all kinds of craziness like you, you don't want that definitely get yourself a set of those a knife always good if you mess up and you have to cut some tape or something like that you know knives are always good connectors many many different connectors these are two wire connectors along with the male portion over here they usually come with the pins that thing and the rubber support but you're gonna want a lot of different types of connectors um, these are these ones each have six ports right there and then here's my mix of wire 24 pin connector which I've used a couple These are uh, injectors, a whole bunch of stuff, and you can, you can see I got my collection of wire in there too. So. More connectors, terminals, sorry. Really good ground cable right in there. It's actually welding cable. Uh, where'd I get that from? Battery Cables USA, pretty simple. Um, yeah, you can have solder too. It helps for small things, but you don't want to solder much on a car. <clears throat> the workshop manual. Pretty good help. You know, answers a lot of questions you may have. But even more important, for every car there should be a body electrical troubleshooting manual. You're going to probably spend a hundred or so on that, but it's well, well worth it. A set of terminal keys. You can find them all over the internet. These help you get the pins out of, you know, a connector. Instead of having to sit there and pry with a knife or this or that and break everything, these are the designed little keys to actually be able to pull a wire out so as you can see i got a lot of work going on 
making my or refurbishing my harnesses, upgrading them with new wires, taking away other stuff I don't need, etc. Um, so hopefully I'll be going through a lot of that for you, help you out, uh, and then hopefully and also some gun stuff too. All right. Um, cool. Thank you.